in today's video, I'm gonna get my crankshaft out and give it a polish. So stick around and watch. You know you want to. Because we're doing a full rebuild on this engine, uh, I want to go ahead and try and clean up this crankshaft to make the main journals and the rod journals as clean as possible. Um, ultimately, I'd like to get into a mirror shine. We need to clean up these main journals through here. There's five of those guys, one in here, one on the end. Um, and then the four journals where the rods all bolt on. Uh, as you can see on the rod journals, there's a bit of an oil stain in the middle and some very light marks across the journal that we'd like to get out. Uh, having this nice and clean uh, gives the new bearings the best chance to have a nice oil film across the bearing, keep oil pressure um, and look after our brand new engine build. To get the job done, I'm going to use a couple of different grades of wet and dry sandpaper uh, on the journals and we'll also use some WD-40 to as a bit of a lubricant to keep the uh, journals lubed while we sand them with the sanding paper and then when we're finished with the three different grades we'll go over it with some metal polish. I'm going to start with this rod journal here. Start off by giving a bit of a clean with brake cleaner and a clean rag just to get any WD-40 or anything that I had sitting on there or any other cleaners or loose grime, etc. off the journal before we start. Um, I'll then go and soak it with WD-40. So that'll be our lubrication for the sanding. And I'm going to start with a piece of 800 grit wet dry sandpaper. Uh, what I'll do is I'm, I've already cut that down to size. I'm going to wrap that around the journal. And then you can either use uh, something like a shoelace, or in this case, I've just got a piece of clean rag that will fit around the sandpaper. Loop it around a couple of times. And then just with a back and forward motion, backwards and forwards, just to get that sandpaper to rotate around and give it a clean up. Periodically stop, make sure you're giving that sandpaper a bit of a clean up with some WD-40 just so that it gets rid of any buildup. Okay, so that's been a couple of minutes with the 800 grit paper. Let's take this off and have a look, see how it's looking. All right, as you can see, that's already much cleaner than it was. That oil ring or line that was down the middle of the rod journal is now gone. Now it feels way smoother and it's already shinier. So that's with the 800 grit. I now go on to 1200 grit. Okay, that's a couple of minutes at 1200. Let's have a look at that. See how it looks. Grab the rag and give it a wipe out. Okay, as you can see, all those scratches from the 800 are gone. Got some little, very slight scratches in there from the 1200. So we'll move it up to the 1500 grit and give that a crack. All right, that's a good couple of minutes with the 1500. Take that off and check it out. Okay, that's looking really good. It looks super smooth now. There's barely any marks left in it. So what I might do is I might go ahead and move to the polish. For the polishing stage, I'm just going to use this generic auto sole metal polish. You could probably use anything, Brasso, Silvo, um, whatever you've got, whatever you've got a preference for. I'm just going to start by putting a little bit of polish on the journal. And I'll spread that around and start with a nice clean rag and start polishing that just the same way we did with the sandpaper. Okay, that's a couple of minutes of polishing. Let's have a look and see how it's turned out. There it is cleaned up. Um, not exactly mirror finish yet, but I'm happy to put some more time into it. I've probably spent 10 or 15 minutes so far on that journal with the three grades of wet and dry and then the polish. 
Um, it does look pretty good, remembering that it looked like that one down there. Now it looks like that, so I'm pretty pleased with that. Um, I'll keep going, I'll probably go, give it another pass, and then I'll go on and move on to the rest of them. All right, this could take a while. So through the magic of video, um, six to eight hours has now passed, and you can see the results I've been able to achieve on the crankshaft. Um, it's pretty, turned, turned out pretty nice. I'm pretty happy with most of it. There's maybe one journal with one nick in it that I'm gonna go over just to try and get it spot on, but I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Uh, it goes to show you can do these things at home in your uh, standard backyard shed. You don't need to pay hundreds of dollars to the machine shop to get a crank linished. And for the power levels that we're aiming for and what I wanna do with the car, this should work nicely. I've stitched a couple of videos together here just to give you a bit of a before and after. Uh, pretty good results. I'm really happy with how it came up. So I'm going to wrap the video up there for today. Um, now that I've got the crankshaft all prepared and I do have the block back from the machine shop, the next couple of videos will be of the actual engine assembly. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can keep up to date with those videos. Um, and if you get any uh, value from these videos, please leave me a like or a comment. I do respond to all of them. Um, so as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.